it's Creech, and today I have a uh, Jack Boys or Don Tolliver and uh, Jack Travis Scott type beat uh, that I made with the sample. Uh, so just starting off here at 140 beats per minute, here's the original sample that I started working with. And uh, so that original sample was, this is uh, sped up, uh, it's, it's almost twice as, as fast as the original one. Uh, so the original was very slow. And I decided to um, overlay the, um, the original or the sped up version with an even faster one uh, that sounded like this. So this is basically a fourth of the, or four times the speed of the original sample. And then um, I just reversed that to see what it would sound like, and I kept it reversed because I liked, uh, there's almost like a vocal effect that it takes on. I just really liked how that sounded. Uh, so here's the kind of final uh, secondary sound that I worked with. Um, so now onto the drums. I start off with uh, a snare, and I added um, a lot of a lot of decent amount of effects to it, I guess. So I EQ'd it uh, significantly, uh, and just brought it down to kind of these uh, frequencies here. And uh, then I added some reverb. I turned it down almost halfway, and these are the settings I used for the reverb. And so this is the uh, the first snare sound. And I um, added another snare uh, on top of that, which uh, I don't know if I put any effects on that. I did not. Um, so here's the secondary snare, or the yeah, second snare. And then um, I kind of like the vibe that I had, so I add some. This is something I did in previous beat where I add uh, some reverb to the hi hats. Um, and so I went ahead and did that with uh, this one. Turned it down just a tad, and these are the settings I used. Um, just to kind of give it this really big reverby feel. Um, and uh, so yeah, here's the hi-hats. Uh, so on its own, as it sounds kind of weird or whatever, but uh, within the beat, it adds like a unique uh, movement to it. Um, and then next, I went on to the uh, 808 pattern. So I've been uh, in an effort to essentially make my 808s better. I've extended the pattern um, just so that it's not so repetitive uh, and just giving me a little bit more creativity to do kind of oddball things, but it's just for a second. So here's the uh, 808 pattern. And then I added the uh, kick over that and uh, took out a few kicks uh, around this like little thing here. Um, but other than that, the kick just follows the 808. And then, um, one of the things that it's very hard to do is to not overproduce. Um, but I decided just to add in this little perk just because it felt a little empty. And I just kind of have it in the arrangement just, just here for, you know, about a four or uh, eight bar period. Uh, it just comes in over there uh, only. But here's the little perk sound I add. Um, and I just put that kind of right before the snare. And uh, so yeah, I just did a little basic arrangement. Um, I uh, a couple things real quick. I, uh, I hopefully the audio is better. Uh, I haven't been recording using my mic, uh, and I found that out. Yeah, I did that on accident. And uh, 
Also, uh, the videos might be, I don't know, I'm going to try to stick to my upload schedule, but I definitely need to focus more on, like, actually doing something with my music. Uh, regardless, here's the final beat. Thanks for watching. Here's the final beat.